this here is a new part of the boardwalk that has only fairly recently been opened above I believe is it above 28th Street here on the boardwalk in South Beach and it's really nice it's a path that connects the southernmost point of Miami Beach all the way up to Maine I don't really know what it's called but apparently it's going through and it's a kind of footpath there's no cars allowed but bikes are allowed no motorized vehicles and eventually like I don't know in 20 years time or so we'll have a path that you could technically walk all the way from South Florida all the way to up north of Maine which is a great great idea and there's of course lots of little pieces in the middle that need to be done and this one was fairly recently um, opened and you know now we're enjoying it up until then we could only go from the tip of South Point up to about 28th Street and then there was kind of a wooden boardwalk and we couldn't go further up and you know this is it's quite nice I'm telling you this because we used to cycle this route quite a lot and it's it's really enjoyable and exciting to do but something recently happened that is uh, yeah I'd, how do I say this a little bit troublesome and kind of what's puts a little bit of a shake on this on this whole life that we've got down here right now and that is of course that our landlady has decided to put the apartment that we currently occupy on the market so she wants to sell it and I can see why the management has changed a lot and you know she's an old lady and she just you know she just doesn't want to doesn't want to have the hassle of having tenants anymore even though a hand on my heart we are the most pleasant tenants to have anyone will confirm that but um, I can see that as you get older you say you know I only have so much time in my life left and there's only so much time I want to invest on you know dealing with paperwork and making sure that when when my tenant calls and says the the tap is dripping I need to find a plumber to rectify this and all that so I can I can see why she doesn't want it anymore and she used to have three apartments in the building her and her son and it was back in the day back when we moved in it was a really nice kind of communal feel in that block but management has changed kind of twice and as you know the old people that that used to be there me included and Julia included uh, there was only, there's only one other lady uh, in the in the place and you know everyone else is no longer pulling together as we once were I, I suppose that's that's how I feel about it and so on the one hand I'm I'm thinking okay that's no problem we'll, we'll find something else but at the same time it brings up a larger larger issue about but what are we gonna do I mean the the apartment that we have right now is a one-bedroom apartment and it kind of grew we've been through the whole cancer years in there it's the second apartment that we occupy in this building and it's it's wonderful to be there it's it's a small space but we've made it work all through the covid times and all that i converted the closing the clothing cupboard into my little streaming studio which is technically like a you know a second bedroom um, and it, it works in this way that when julia has meetings i can go into a little room and record a video without you know disturbing a meeting that's ongoing and in progress so it's, it's all those things that have grown over time and uh, now we find ourselves in having to find a kind of a similar space because this whole streaming and recording videos is, is very important of course to me uh, because it's it's kind of, it's my job so it's I never really thought about it this way but now it's at a point that I have to have such a setup for me to uh, you know to, to make money which is great uh, but it also means I can't just go and move into a studio apartment which you know, it's, it's, it's it's difficult so that brings up these all these questions of where we're gonna move what are we gonna do and uh, you know I think we're still in this phase of where we're digesting the news we got in touch with our old estate agent um, Angelo who is uh, hopefully being ho hopefully able to find us an equivalent perhaps even better place in the immediate neighborhood and vicinity because there's all so many things that, I mean we don't have a car we're not gonna get a car so we can't really move to the places that are on the market that that you know the the average American would move to because hey it's no problem driving seven miles to the nearest supermarket we have to have that in kind of at least cycling distance and um, that's something that we found here in, in South Beach and, and now of course it's very difficult for us to let go of it and, and rethink this whole endeavor so yeah that's currently what's happening it's currently what we're going through 
I guess more news as it breaks you'll be the first to know what happens we have a few months to do this so it's not something that we have to do by the weekend or whatnot but we do have to go and uh, and get get as the saying goes our asses in gear and go and you know at least think about how we're going to do this so yes more news as it breaks